something in six. <laughs> so I want you to pick up the story. You're released by the Twins, and you go back for their organization, and you go back to Australia. Tell us about the jobs and, and everything you were doing and then getting back. Man, how long you got? Okay, so <laughs> I'll do the quick version. Uh, got released in 1997, uh, went back home to Australia, did everything from pool plumbing to concreting, installing glass splashbacks, yeah. selling security, selling pest control, selling upholstery fabrics, selling lift chairs, eventually landed a job as a pharmaceutical rep. Uh, and my boss just so happened to be the president of the Australian Baseball Federation. So when I made the team for the World Baseball Classic, I was able to, to call him and say, hey, listen, you might need to find another sales rep because the Braves want me to sign with them. And uh, here I am, 10 years later since then. So it's been 20 years in all, wow. but yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fun journey. And you surprised them or yourself with, with how hard you were throwing when they found you? Yeah, that was, the, that was the main factor was that when I was over here the first time I was sort of 88 to 90 and then when they were radar gunning me uh, for the WBC I was 94-95 uh, arm angle had dropped down a little bit and that was out of necessity because I had two back surgeries so <laughs> I mean everything just seemed to, to to gel and everything seemed to happen for a reason and, and now here I am as I said 20 years later and I'm pitching for the Royals for the defending world champions is pretty cool and 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 here with your good buddy chris medlin i know you guys are really close he summed you up this way i love it the american summing up the australian with the spanish word loco <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said to me today but but tell me about your guys relationship uh it has been uh since he got called up with the with atlanta we've uh, we've been extremely close i don't know if it's i mean i i can be a little i wouldn't say loco i'd say more uh Unique? Unique, yeah, sure, unique. I just like to have a good time no matter where I am, but, um, and he's, he's exactly the same way, so I think we sort of gelled that way. Uh, we've had some, some really good laughs, some really good times uh, over, the, over the past eight years or however long it's been. It feels like a relationship I'm trying to describe. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a been, friendship. It's been wonderful over these last eight years. <laughs> I'll just hope we can take the next step one day. But no, um, but no, it's been really good. And, and you know, there's, there's a, a comfort that, that I get when we're in the same clubhouse and, and uh, you know, we're able to tell stories and, and reminisce about the good old days. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Well, we appreciate the, the visit and the success that you're having. I, I assume everybody, I'm not going to try, everybody tries to do an Australian accent, everybody right? Tries. Poorly? It's terrible. terrible. Uh, the only thing that I can tell you is you'd never say this but if you're gonna say razor blades you, as an American you need to say rise up lights so try oh. rise up lights razor blades he said I it. got it yeah. time to go have Vegemite sandwiches all right Peter thank you thanks for all the relationship talk it was it was uh, unique for sure